know that I'm gonna love you forever It's my town and your town Now that we're here, we gon' build this empire together When you smile, I smile As long as I got you, I'm gon' make sure that you smile forever You're too down, I'm so proud No matter the weather, we gon' pull through the storms together You're my queen and I'm your king You're my love, my everything You have my heart and yours with me I'm feeling like it's destiny Today is March 29th. Oh, it's my sister's birthday. I need to call her. Today is March 29th, and um, I am at the VA. I'm about to go get a blood test uh, in order to start my prenatal. I don't know. I don't know if it's called that. But in order to start my pregnancy, like um, little doctor's appointments and stuff, we have to. I have to get a blood test done. So. You need help, sir? You trying to put it in a hole? There we go. No problem. Appreciate you. Uh-huh. So, um, yeah, so I'm trying to, I have to do this blood test real quick, so I'll take y'all with me. Bye. Um, to the, come here because I just found out I'm pregnant and they said that they don't do the pregnancy, um, stuff here. So I will have to take a blood test so that I can be outsourced to, uh, Maternity clinic or something like that. So you have you did the home pregnancy test? Yes, already? I did a home pregnancy test. I just, but that was all I did. When was your last LMP? What was that? Last menstrual period. Um, it started February thirteenth, two thousand twenty-two. So February thirteenth. Yes. Is this gonna be your first pregnancy? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, and your home pregnancy test was positive on three twenty seven. Yes. So your first day of your last menstrual period was two thirteen. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, so generally what I do is I do a blood pregnancy test and just to confirm. And if it's positive, I refer you to the maternity care because you know this is the VA, so they don't have like an on site. Um, obstetrician like an OB right mm -hmm. so they usually refer you to the community have you been pregnant before no this is first time mm -hmm. all right um are you taking your prenatals no you need to be taking your prenatal okay um now is the most important time because the baby is just forming <laughs> mm -hmm. and um the baby the first couple like uh first trimester really is the most important because um the neural tube is developing mm -hmm. and the, you need the folic acid in the prenatal um, to make sure that there's no neural tube defect. So I would start the prenatal right away. Okay. Um, so today. You have it at home, right? Um, it should be delivered today or, or tomorrow. Okay. It's fine if you want to take your own prenatals. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter what, as long as it has folic acid in it. Folic acid. It has okay. to have folic acid. That's the most important thing. Um, and then, uh, we'll, you'll do the blood test today? Yes, please. Okay, all right. Give me about five minutes to go back to my office and put in the order. Mm -hmm. and then you can head on over to the lab. Will I find out, like, how far along I am today? No. So, generally, it's too early. Um, you just had your whole positive test. Um, so I think it, it hasn't been long enough yet. But they should be able to see you at your... Uh, first OB appointment and confirm everything. Okay. Um, and just watch out for anything like bleeding and stuff like that. Okay. okay. Any mm -hmm. other questions? No. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Um, doesn't sound like it took you very long, right? You yeah, got your IUD taken out in January. You're mm -hmm. pregnant now, so it's like one cycle. Yeah. Okay. Good. Excellent. Very mm -hmm. good. Um, like I said, you can make your way over there every okay. few minutes. Okay. Okay. <laughs>
as y'all can see, I went to the VA. The first thing I had to do um, was talk to my doctor and basically let her know I was pregnant. I took a home pregnancy test. She asked me a few questions. And then she was like, okay, I'm going to schedule you a um, lab right after this. Go straight to the laboratory um, to get a blood sample so that we can confirm that you're pregnant. And within a few days, you'll get a call from someone basically saying where you'll have your pregnancy um appointments and stuff and it's crazy because my doctor was pregnant too <laughs> she pregnant as fuck she like breathing all hard and shit i was like oh i feel your pain girl i feel it so i gotta wait a couple days for somebody to call me and let me know what the next step is but they would told me to start taking my prenatal vitamins right now like asap so i just gotta wait for them to come in the mail and that's it so I'm just about to head to the house. Um, that was basically what it was. Like, I think I'm gonna stop vlogging here, but I just wanted to show y'all what happened and my first time going to a doctor <sighs> for this. I'm already out of breath, y'all. It's crazy. It's crazy. All right, talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs>
down, man. I no, am a fiance. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. I'm a ruya. Turn up for the night. Real thing, she's no average girl. Too fine, oh she might. She's so damn fine. I just wanna call on you. Call Money on just you. fall on you. Not a thing I won't do. Ooh yeah. yeah. I just wanna call on you. Let me do it all for you. Let me do Can't nobody fall on you. Ooh you. yeah. yeah. She the girl in my visions. Now that I found you, I'm fiending for all your attention. Girl, yeah. I just want your attention. Hope you don't mind if I give you a tour of my mansion. Yeah. All of this for you, babe. Nothing I won't do, babe. Weak for your love. Everywhere we go, we they be alright. Yeah. Can't help it with your body. Just wanna make you happy. I just wanna call on you Money just fall on you Not a thing I won't do Ooh yeah I just wanna call on you Let me do it all for you Can't nobody ball on you Ooh yeah Yeah Turn up for the night. The night yeah. Real thing, she's no average yeah. girl. Too fine, oh she might so give up fine. on the baggage, girl. You got too much going on in that mind. Let me help you. Yeah, yeah. Let me give you the moments in your life to step yeah. to fly away together. Fly away. Can't help it with your body. Just wanna make you happy. I just wanna, just wanna call on you. Money just fall on you. Just Not a thing I won't do. Ooh yeah. yeah, I just wanna call on you. Let me do it all for you. Can't nobody ball on you. Ooh yeah. yeah. What's up, teammates? We back. It's been a while. We are. What are we doing today? So today we are at a. We have a birth slash parenting. I don't know. I don't really know what they call it, but it's like a birthing class with our midwife. Um, we are now thirty. Well, tomorrow we'll be. Well, yeah. Tomorrow we'll be thirty-four weeks pregnant. Man, it's Got this big belly right here. So we got three birthing slash parenting classes. This is the second one. Man, these classes are like four hours long, but it's real good information. Like it tell you like what to expect and like how to get through the, the home birthing process and all of that type of stuff. So it's pretty like educational. It's just long classes on the Saturday morning. Home birthing is a lot different from just going to the hospital. Like it's a lot more, it put, I, I wouldn't say it, you put a lot more work in it, but it is a lot different. Like there's some things that you can do and you can't do. And because it's all natural, it's a lot of stuff you need to know. So that's probably why everything is so, you know. So that's probably why it's so um, like in debt. But so this is our second one. Like Sam said, we give birth next month. So they was like the last, like the month before you give birth, you're gonna go through some classes. And so we finally here finally here and then we actually got an appointment to see our midwife for like our follow-up appointment before the class so yeah so our class is at 8 30 i mean no our appointment is at 8 30 and then our class started at nine so we already here we just waiting on people to pull up so um we'll just be vlogging today so y'all can see like what what be going on i think our mid midwife appointments are pretty cool because you get to just i don't know i it's very different from when I was going to the doctor. The doctor, she, they'll call you in the room and they'll just, you know, take your weight, your height, 
make you pee in a cup or whatever make sure do some blood work maybe and they barely they might they maybe show you like your your baby on the ultrasound or something like that that shit was one that shit was rare we had to ask them we went to like four appointments we had to ask them two out of four appointments can we hear the baby can we see the baby oh yeah i usually don't show them every appointment oh no yeah no but the midwife she's more hands-on like it's more like she don't i mean she do have like what's that called like machines and stuff yeah. of course we can hear the baby and all that but it's like more hands-on so she gonna i mean i'll see if sam can record that part <clears throat> she be in the way sometime but <laughs> um i'll see if sam can record it but she like use her hands and she like literally finds where the baby is all she shows me her parts. um she shows me her head and like where it's positioned and she can it's just real cool so so yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. So we're about to head in, and as always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And make sure y'all hit that bell so y'all don't miss no new videos. Let's, Let's get, get into, into it. it. <laughs> oh, your ultrasound, your fluid is decreasing in those kidneys. Remember we talked about that. Mm -hmm. So it is decreasing. That's good, right? Yes, it's very good. So go to one more at 36 weeks, but just make sure it's all gone. She looks great okay, in the ultrasound. Just a little bit of pressure here for me, okay? How many weeks are we? 33 and 6. Is she still rotisserie? Mm -hmm. She's still rotisserie. I just want to make sure because I always say, hey, are you rotisserie in there? <laughs> additional piece of your team, right? Yeah. She helps you cope, helps you in the beginning, all the things. I didn't realize that. I apologize. Yes, how did we get a kind of what? We got an intro. Hi, Pops. being the opening, the dilation being the opening of the cervix, we want that. The effacement is the thinning of the cervix, we want that. Those are two things that work together to give us um, an exit for our baby. Right? <laughs> So we just finished. It's one o'clock now. We've been in the that, in the midwife like area for like a long time since eight thirty yeah, this morning. Yeah, we got there about eight thirty. Um, we had our appointment first, which which went good, and then we had the classes, which are always you know helpful and informative. But 
it's just so long it's so long <laughs> and so we literally have to like put it in our minds like okay we're gonna be in there from about nine to one so today i don't know maybe she just went over and she was like i i understand you guys have to go it's one o'clock but i have more videos and stuff to show y'all we like uh-uh no. i looked at him i was like you ready to go he like yeah i'm like, all right let's go I, it's mm -mm. It's to I ain't got no more videos in me bro they, they got a, they got a room full of pregnant women and not too not enough food and you know the, the father's there too i'm like bro it's, we need some food it's i need some eat. real food they give us like granola and waters and stuff no i need some boo boo so we're about to go try to find something to eat but um that was our class for today and our appointment as you can see um the midwife is actually really hands-on i like the way she measures the baby she feels make sure everything is right and all of that so well, she and she's like she's super silly man she's super like down on the earth and, and human like she give you that human feel it's, it doesn't feel like you're like just going you're just a number somewhere you get what i'm saying most of the time you walk into the doctor's office you just come on back pee right here okay let me check your temperature okay have a good day no nah, she's gonna tell us some stories she's gonna tell us some jokes we're gonna okay. be in there having a good time really yeah so that's what i like about it but um i guess are we gonna end this here yeah i don't do okay. that in the sooner today all right y'all so we're about to go find some food and we're gonna end this video here so as always make sure you like comment and subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit that bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos and, and until, until next time, time peace, peace.